The Rolling Stones was copyrighted in 1952 by Robert A. Heinlein and published by Charles Scribner's Sons of New York in that same year. Like several of the Heinlein juveniles, this book is beautifully illustrated by Clifford Geary. The Rolling Stones novel is a departure from the earlier juveniles in that the main characters are the entire Stone family. Instead of a single teenage male character, this story is populated by Roger Stone, a retired engineer and current writer of science fiction teleplays, his mother, Hazel Mead Stone, Edith Stone, M.D., Roger's wife and the mother of their four children. These children include Mead, their teenage daughter, Lowell, also known as Buster, a preschool-age son, and Castor and Pollux, their young teen twins, who are geniuses, but otherwise normal young fellows. The plot of the story is fairly straightforward. The Stone family purchases a used spaceship, which they christen the Rolling Stone, and proceed to take a tour of the solar system. Starting on their home world of Luna, the Rolling Stone proceeds on a two-year journey to Mars and then on to the asteroid belt. The twins, who are the entrepreneurial members of the family, use this opportunity to attempt to turn a profit by carrying trade goods in the hold of the family ship. Their venture into interplanetary trade is the source of considerable family conflict and humor as they run afoul of the Martian tariff laws and acquire a Martian flat cat which rapidly reproduces itself until its offspring threaten to devour all of their ship's stores. I have long suspected that the famous Star Trek episode The Trouble with Tribbles was borrowed from this novel. The characters of the Stone family are well drawn and likable. Hazel Stone is a hero of Luna's battle for independence and is the unofficial matriarch of the family, while Roger, a former mayor of Luna City, believes that he is the head of the family. The four children are all talented, strong, and willful. As a practicing physician and mother, Edith is a quiet but steadying influence on a family of volatile personalities. As always, Heinlein makes sure that the science of the story is right. The orbits and trajectories they follow on their journeys to Mars from the moon and on to the asteroids are all accurate and quite feasible given the conditions set forth in the story. The nuclear pr propulsion system described in the book, while not with an, in our capabilities today, is certainly not of a design inconceivable in the future. The need for a balanced internal ecology with oxygen generating and food producing plants aboard the spacecraft was ahead of its time. The systems as postulated in the story are still not fully realized even in our only long duration extraterrestrial vehicle of today, the International Space Station. If family fun is your style, this book is a gem. The action is swift, non-stop, and the dialogue is witty and very funny. While the stones are eccentric, they are refreshingly free of pathology. The values of education, of honesty, of courage, and of family loyalty are all stressed in this story. I wholeheartedly recommend it both for young readers and for family reading.